Hello, Virgos. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. Let's get right into it. Let's get right into your reading. Let's see what's in your cards, Virgo. Talking to you even if you're on the cusp. If you are a cusper, I am talking to you, Virgos. I'm talking to you. Yeah, um, the moon is in Capricorn. That's important to know the moon faces, but the moon is in Capricorn. And um, less is more. Less is more. Quality before quantity, like in terms of who you're around, you know, like what you're watching on social media, you know, if you're around um, um, spending a whole lot of time around shady people, then guess what? You're going to think everybody else shady. <laughs> <laughs> if you spend around a lot of time, you work with a bunch of shady people, you're gonna start coming, becoming just like them, right? If you were around that, those kind of people, guess what? You're gonna become just like them, 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 them. Let's get into it. All right, you're having a tower moment, right? Tower moment, tower moment, tower moment, yeah. You're having an awakening. Somebody is having an awakening that somebody jumped to some conclusions about some things. Here we have the tower moment. Some people jump to some conclusions about some things and um, call some a lot of sadness, call some lamenting or whatever. So um, here we have the princess of cups here. Here we have the temperance card and we also have the goddess card, right? So it looks like you all will be, like I said, probably possibly cutting ties with energies who have made it cause some sadness um, um, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Virgos, people jump into some conclusions about some stuff and just um, maybe jump into some conclu conclusions about you um, and... Um, Maybe somebody bullied you or was green with envy, try to disrupt your peace in some way, shape, form, or fashion, whether it was your peace or your kids or grandkids' peace or something some energies did when they jumped to some conclusions about you could have caused a lot of sadness, you know. And so sources saying to you, um, some energies trying to bring out the worst in you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, trying to bring out some kind of worst in you or bringing out the worst in your kids or your parents or just trying to bring out the worst in everybody, trying to see who was going to, you know, who has temper was going to flare, all this. It's like somebody just jumped, like somebody jumped to some conclusions about some stuff and it was just totally wrong and could have caused some lamenting to happen here, could have caused some lamenting to happen here. Um, I feel like here we have the four of uh, wands here. Um, something for you here we have not only does somebody have new love coming across their path and it's going to feel like home for you something is going to feel like maybe new love could be uh playing a musical instrument it could be traveling it could be a new physically romantic love for you um but something is going to feel very comfortable and very safe for you it can be it could even be joining an organization um, but something is going to feel safe for you. Um, but it's going to feel like home. Y'all know what I'm saying when it feels like home. It feels like where you're always supposed to be, right? So if it's a new job, it's going to feel like I was always supposed to be in this job. I, should, I don't even know why I put up with all this crying and upset and frustrated. Why did I even spend that much time doing all that? Because I could have been relaxing somewhere. This just feels like I'm supposed to be here, wherever it is, right? This new job, this new love relationship, like something is going to feel so liberating, you know, for somebody. So congratulations to you. Congratulations. Yep. So you're ending something. Yep, something has ended. Somebody jumped to some conclusions about some stuff. Something, something, you're you're emptying. You're emptying yourselves of some energy. So here we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Yep, so um, brand new beginning. Brand new beginning. And there's some energies that feel like, you know, they side-eye you. And um, like, like when I say certain energy. Okay, Virgo, we had to make some more room, but wow. Okay, that I was just going and on, going and going and then realized we had only captured four minutes of footage here. So I'm going to give you a recap because I don't want to do a whole reading all over again. You're having a double tower moment. And so the double tower moment really is that there's an upheaval happening here. 
it's two energies, it's two types of energies that got a lot of stuff going, got a lot of people involved in some stuff, possibly in your workplace or family or whatever the case may be, that were really trying to disrupt your joy. They jump, they work with somebody who somebody jumped to conclusions or something about you and just and believe the worst about something and so and cause a, a big catastrophe going on. And so source is saying as we get closer and closer to this full moon in Aries, Aries is ruled by the Tower card, Mars card, a lot of your memories about things that you kept going along with the flow are going to resurface, but a lot of their memories about stuff is going to resurface too about themselves, their fear, doubt, and the, the more they're determined to cover up something that they did uh, uh, to you, you know, something that did to you, the more and more things are going to start crumbling around them. And what I was saying to you all is it could happen in their home life. It could happen in, it can happen in their personal or their professional life. But source is trying to tell you that it's two energies that created a lot of stuff around you. Um, it's a man and a woman that created a lot of stuff that went on about you. They jumped to some conclusions about some stuff and create a bunch of chaos and confusion. And so source is saying to you, these same type of energies as they get close, like I said, and I don't want to be redundant when I say this, the tower card, you're divinely protected both in your personal and your professional life. I just got to tell you that. And, but they're more determined to turn up the heat with somebody because it's like, okay, we can't be this wrong. Like there's, there's no way we were this wrong about, you know, Virgo, like we gotta, we gotta make something stick. Here's the thing though. This card right here, I, I believe this card came out in your, in the earlier part of your reading. You're going to know something was a crack in the foundation with two energies in particular. There was a crack in the foundation between you and some energies because there's no way in the world that anybody would jump on board as it relates to you if there wasn't some kind of crack in the foundation. Somebody should have been solid, like for real solid as far as you're concerned. Like, absolutely not. Like y'all really, y'all, but y'all thinking the worst about Virgo, but all of this is being exposed, Virgo. Like when you feel like you got loved ones around you or people who love you that they would never, ever, ever for, for no reason would they betray you. So it's just saying there's some, there's been some crack. Something has been cracking in a foundation for a very long time that it's just, it was a matter of time. And so all y'all have to think about is who kept asking you a whole bunch of questions, trying to collect information and collect, collect, collect. And so remember, uh, Pluto was, Pluto is retrograde until October 11. I don't know what day you all are going to watch this video, but if you're watching it on the 10th, we got one more day for Pluto to be retrograde. Pluto is the planet of death, rebirth power transformation metamorphosis but it's also the planet of obsession it's the judgment card there are some energies who are determined i'm talking about obsessed 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 and they are not letting something go something about you you know virgo they are not letting something go like trying to they're vain and vengeful and green with envy spirits they almost think everything comes so easy for you so they feel like they got to be your judge jury and executioner it's almost like uh some energies feel like uh, and they will use anybody to do it so if there's any cracks and foundations where your family is concerned that's exactly who they're going for you and your brother, y'all been shaky for years. That's who they going for. You and your kids been shaky for years. That's who they going for. You and a, a spouse, that's what they going after. But source is saying to you, a lot of your wishes are being fulfilled because you've decided somebody cried over something. Like maybe you lamented in your spirit over something, Virgo, and you moved on. You may have taken a trip, or even if it was a short trip or whatever, and you learn how to emotionally become emotionally mature at the highest level when you deal with emotional sharks. And so your good news just keeps coming, coming, just keeps coming. And so you wanted somebody's wishes being fulfilled is basically being around more sacred relationships and sacred bonds so you can build your own legacy. But I'm telling y'all, if there's any cracks in any foundations, if it's at work and you got some friends at work that you feel like y'all, y'all go to lunch together all the time, if people feel like they know who they are, it's cracks in a foundation. It's cracks in a foundation. So source is trying to tell you, you're going to have to learn how to, when people, when you realize when you're around loved ones, people who say they love you and they can be and and that, that relationship is not as solid as you thought it was. You're going to have to pay attention. You're going to have to start moving differently. Like for real, they don't, 
<clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to start moving differently. When source starts showing you that loved one's love language is not the same as yours, and you can see this is a this is a perfect depiction of this because you all have a lot of ancestors around you. <clears throat> and they start collecting information about you. They come into your house trying to collect information, talking to you about stuff. You're like, why are they asking no kind of questions? Why are they doing this? And why source is saying somebody better open their eyes and pay attention. This number seven, especially when you say, Okay, you've moved on from something. You've moved on from something because Sources say you've been dealing with some people who could have helped you at your lowest point, helped you, you know, when you were behind closed doors, maybe depressed or sad, you know, but out in public, you were going to work, trying to put on a happy face, but behind closed doors, you was like, I can't believe I'm around this many shady people. Look at this right here. All this shade right here. I can't believe I'm around all this sarcastic comments about this, about look how successful you are. Look, everything seemed like it's just pouring, like flowing into your life and seems seem like everything seemed like it's so easy for you, but they don't see what was going on behind closed doors. You could have been having nightmares, could have been experiencing some kind of traumatic episodes, all kinds of stuff could have been happening behind closed doors. And then, like I said, so who they go to, they go to people where they feel like there's a crack in your friendship, crack in your, any kind of a foundation, some kind of crack in something jump into some conclusions about some things and so source is saying to you it's time to take the blindfolds off it's time to stop talking to some people this is right here eight of swords connects us with gemini gemini you and gemini uh um <clears throat> excuse me you and gemini uh actually are ruled by mercury the communication and messenger planet so to say it's time to stop talking to somebody just just stop talking to them just break just break all communication with them I don't care what they talking about. If they send you a text message, you busy. I mean, like for real, limit your time, whatever you're talking to. Just cut ties because the heat is being turned up in some energies now. The heat is being turned up. And I don't know what's going on with somebody right now, but Source is saying to you, things are in your favor. You're divinely protected. And so Source is saying, but the heat is being turned up in other people. So that's what I'm saying. When you want to start thinking about... You got to leave some energies behind permanently. Start taking your mind somewhere else about, you know, like how nostalgic your childhood was. Like start thinking about taking happy memories with you or whatever. But yeah, some energies did something really wrong to you. Really, really wrong to you. I mean, they were really foul to you and and they were hoping that you wouldn't pick up on something and they've been just collecting information just collecting information but it's a man and a woman that's behind something that thinks that your life is just so easy breezy and don't care about what's going on behind closed doors they don't care about how you maybe couldn't sleep or whatever behind closed doors the source is saying if you had any kind of impasse at all but you got on blindfolds you can't see what's going on you you need to give it some rest <laughs> just release it Release it, release it, release it. So that's what I have for you all, Virgos. Thank you so much for joining me. But like I said, you all are having a double tower moment, like a double awakening, like a double lightning strike. And tower moments are actually good because they help us to have a total recall of why we are here on planet Earth. That's the beauty of the tower card. And so you operating in, in purpose is causing some kind of upheaval. Somebody's trying to make it seem like you have a really bad temper or you 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 get mad enough, you'll do X, Y, and Z. So it's just like, no, you'll you'll do something to somebody. Like if you if you get that mad, like you got a bad temper, source is saying to you, listen, stop talking to people. There's certain people you ain't even trying to, because there's already a crack in, uh, like I said, loved ones. It's already a crack in the foundation. And y'all know what I'm saying. Like sometimes people were like, oh, well, they've been around them the longest. They would know them. They talk to them the most. That's their brother. That's their sister. That's their cousin. That's their such and such. They go to lunch all the time together. So it's just like, it's time for you to just, like I said, limit your time, limit your conversation, limit that because somebody wants to be a part of something so bad. I mean, like they just determined. I, yeah. Anyway, that's what I have for you all. But that, I wanted to, like I said, I didn't even realize it had cut off at like after four something, like four minutes and something. So I want to make sure I wanted to do a recap for somebody, but that's what's happening here. Double tower moment and sources saying, yeah, you got, you got, you got some energies. It's like I said before, they don't, they're afraid of something. They, I'm telling y'all, it's something that they are afraid that they don't want to get out. They don't want something to get out. 
Like somebody may have tried to cause you to lose your job. They may have done some stuff behind the scenes. Somebody could have, you know, did some slick stuff. It could be an organization that could have stopped you from trying to get some money. Somebody might have did an under the table or something. It's so, looking at your reading here, it's so crazy that, that something should have been in your favor. And I mean, it's still, it's still in your favor. But sources say, and there's some energies who, here's the thing about, you see this card right here? It says karma. When I say you're dealing with some vain and vengeful spirits, first of all, we don't get to determine other people's karma. So if a person says like, um, whatever energy we send out to the universe comes back to us, it comes back to us that we, you can't control somebody's karma. So somebody don't know what you going through behind closed doors. They don't, they have no clue whatsoever. And these people trying to collect, well, I mean, we, we going to make some, we going to make some, we going to create something. So it's, I'm trying to tell us source keeps telling these, these two types of energies, Source keeps trying to tell them, Virgo, leave Virgo alone. Leave Virgo alone. Leave Virgo alone. It's like, seriously, Source keeps trying to tell them, leave Virgo alone. Because they don't get to determine your, your karma is not good or bad. They don't get to determine. It's like somebody's like, they, they just like obsessed. That's the only word I can use is obsessed because Pluto was still retrograde until October the 11th. So people are utterly obsessed with you, Virgo. And it's almost like they just, they determined to bring down some kind of like, um, something you've built like this right here. Like they want to bring down your empire, like you and somebody, they want to bring down, break like your legacy. They want to just tear something down. So source is saying to you, uh, uh, it's like, it's either you and somebody are protected or you, you protected on both sides of your life or whatever. But I'm telling you, like, pray for your loved ones, pray for yourself, pray for your loved ones, because you got some, you, you, you got some energies that's like, they, they really, that's what I have for you all Virgos. Like I said, you all are a pioneer. You're a pioneer. You're making some things happen and you're doing it independently. You're making some things happen and it's causing some, like I said, you're not afraid to take big risks to achieve the life that you desire. And some people, it's setting some people on, what's this, like this, like setting their hair on fire. Some people are big mad. And so, like like I said, stay in that same frequency. Keep your vibrations high. Stay in your, stay in your purpose. Stay in your purpose. Stay in your purpose. That's what I have for you all, Virgos. I'll see you all in the next video. Hopefully this was helpful. Like I said, I didn't realize the camera had turned off, but I want to make sure we get the, you know, I want to make sure you knew what the, the whole reading was about. All right. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.